Welcome to my simple object motion without physics but with friction uh, tutorial. So in this tutorial we'll learn how to move an object on the screen and actually have it with some physics, uh, with not physics sorry, but with friction rather, uh, which is a kind of physics of course. So let's take a look at what we have and then I'll explain it. Okay, so notice it's moving and slowly coming to a halt. So I can increase the speed with the arrow key but you notice it's grinding to a halt. This is not something you would use for a space-based game because there's no friction in space. This is something that if we imagine if we were looking down, maybe somebody's ice skating or you know, a car's moving or some type of object that we want to have in our game, it comes to a halt. Because in the real world we have, we have physics and friction, sorry, uh, and physics. So basically how this one works, um, now if you haven't seen the object motion template uh, video, take a look at that and that explains kind of where to get started with this. But what we've added to this um, is the concept of friction. Okay, so I've set the friction uh, for my player class to 0 0.98. I'll show you how I'm going to use that. Um, now, just from the previous video, we have turn left, turn right, increase speed, decrease speed. And these uh, class methods are bound to different keys on the keyboard. Left arrow, of course, turns left. Right arrow turns right. Up arrow increases speed, down arrow decreases speed. And in our main loop, the player moves. And that's what we've changed. So this only took two lines to add friction to our game, okay, from, compared to the, the previous version. Um, so basically what we do is we set our friction to a factor of 0 0.98. And that's just a number I, I picked out of a hat. So that basically what that means is each time through the main loop, we want the player's speed to slow down a little bit, in this case by about 2% or exactly 2%. Um, so that's exactly how friction works. You, you're going along a certain speed, friction slows you down gradually. Okay. So what we do is inside of our move method, we change our current speed, we multiply it by our friction, I guess we call it, friction coefficient. So if my speed was, let's say for example, 100, then first time through it would become 98. Then it would go down to about 96.1 and then 94.2 and you know whatever the numbers work out to be. Um, so it goes slow until finally it hits zero. All right. So let's take a look at that. So I'm starting out at one. So I'm going to run that in terminal. And it's slowing down to a halt. I'm increasing the speed, but notice it's slowing down again. That's it. It's very, very simple until we slow down to zero and done. So that is another type of motion that you might see in a, a different type of game depending on what you want your objects to do. Stay tuned.